Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel! Today we'll be using a soda can to make our very own barbecue grill. You don't believe me? Check this out! Look at that hot link! Grilled to perfection! We'll also make a mini campfire to set the mood. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. Alright, so you're going to need a large soda can. I would highly recommend the Arizona cans. I think they work the best, and most of the cans have pretty cool designs on it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is grab a pair of scissors and cut this in half. It might be pretty hard to start off with scissors though. So if you have pliers or anything similar, use that first to make a cut. It's this part right here that's difficult for the scissors. Perfect! Now the scissors should be good for this next part. Also, be really careful when doing this. For the most part, it's pretty safe, but if you rush anything, you might cut yourself, so take your time. This is not a race. Don't want anyone getting hurt while doing this. Okay, so we split the can in two. By the way, shout out to King of Random for the inspiration. Grant was a hero, and hopefully we can make him proud today. Right now, I'm just making sure both halves are even. Just need to clean this part up right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So one half is going to hold the coals, and the other half is going to be the lid. Let's start by making the bottom half of our grill. We need to make angled cuts, about half an inch from the edges. We're making these cuts so that we can bend the aluminum foil to make a small ledge. That way we can put our grill on top. So you can start by folding the aluminum foil like this. But as you can see, it looks a bit uneven, right? Well, that's where this popsicle stick comes in handy. Use the popsicle stick to make a nice clean crease. And be careful once again when you do this part. You'll be touching the part of the foil that you cut, and if it's jagged anywhere along the line, you can cut yourself. But once again, if you're careful, you'll be fine. So we get a nice looking ledge on one side. Let's do the same for the other. Wow, this popsicle stick is money. Really makes a clean crease. Okay, now you'll see some pointy parts near the ends. Use a scissor to trim it down so they're not as sharp. Remember, safety always comes first, so we want to make sure the grill is super safe before grilling. Okay, now this part gets a little tricky. Put your can over a piece of paper. Make a dot for each corner of the crease. We're going to be making the actual grill. Use a ruler to connect all the dots. And then make lines inside the rectangle about an inch apart. You will need a wired clothes hanger to make a makeshift grill. Before we shape our grill, use sandpaper to remove this white layer. Once you have the metal wiring, place it on the template and begin making your grill. You will need pliers to shape this. Sorry, I need to put all my focus on making this grill look right, so my focus might be all off. Kind of hard to film and make this grill at the same time. So just follow the template and you should get something that looks like a grill. Let me show you in a bit. Obviously, this is not the grill you see on the normal barbecue grill, but the wiring is spaced out evenly and as long as it fits on top of the soda can, we should be good to go. Use the walls on the can, that pointy area, to keep the grill in place. Well, well, well. It's starting to look pretty good. Now we need to make legs for our grill. We can't just grill it like that. So to make the metal legs, you will need a 4 inch U-bolt. We're going to use the metal plate first as a template. Place it underneath the crease on one end. Grab a pen and make a mark in each hole. Now let's do the same for the other end. Now let's use an X-Acto knife. You can use anything that will puncture the aluminum foil. I'm using the knife just to make the initial cut and then using a screwdriver to puncture the hole. Now give me a minute while I do that for the other three. Compared to the other videos we release, this one requires a lot more handiwork. But if I can do it, you can do it. I always say that, but trust me, just believe you'll really like how it turns out. Got the legs in, now let's add the metal plate. 
Okay, right now, the legs are too straight. Muster up all your strength and bend the legs outwards a bit. Woo! Okay. That was pretty hard. I need to hit the gym. Let's attach the other U-bolt. Insert the metal plate. Okay, now we just need to tighten this up and our legs should be stable. I'm getting pretty excited now. I mean, we're still far from being finished, but so far, the base is looking real nice. Honestly, thought I would have failed around this part, and I was planning on making it a fail video, but this gives me hope. That's why I said if I can do it, you can do it. Mmm, nice. It stands perfectly. Now let's attach the grill. Okay, now let's place the other half on top. This should fit just fine. Yep. Okay, now we need to find a way to attach the lid onto the bottom portion. We're looking at the back of the grill right now. You'll need one inch utility hinges to attach the lid onto the grill. Just like we did with the legs, we're gonna make some marks on the cans. Now let's start by working on the bottom portion. Make little punctures. Okay, I went ahead and made holes in the can. Now let's add the bottom part of the hinge. Tighten it up. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the lid. Insert the screws. We're on fire! And this grill will be on fire soon too. Let me quickly finish this up. Boom! Alright, now let's attach a handle for the lid. You don't need a specific size, just something that will fit on the can. Now let's make some marks so that we can attach this handle on properly. That looks pretty good. Made all the holes. Now let me quickly tighten this up. Perfect! And yes! We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a one-of-a-kind Arizona grill. It won't grill a lot, but it'll get the job done. But for real, can this actually work? Well, you saw it in the previews, but we'll show you the full cooking show in a bit. Okay, we also wanted to create a camping vibe, so let's use these soda cans to make a campfire. We need to start by making a line around the can, maybe about two inches above the bottom of the can. To keep the line as straight as possible, I'm using this container to keep the pen stable. It's a pretty neat trick. And let's just spin our can around. Okay, now we just need to cut the can. It's going to be pretty hard trying to cut that line right off the bat. Cut the can in half first. Then just work your way down towards the line and cut it around. Give me a second. Perfect. So this part of our can will hold all the rubbing alcohol. Now we need to make the seal for our campfire. Let's flip this soda can. You're going to need nails, and let's just poke a few holes. Start one right in the center. And then let's make holes all around the center. Give me a second. This part can get pretty dangerous too, but once again, just as long as you're careful, you'll be fine. How many times have I said that today? Maybe this is dangerous. Just kidding, just kidding. So that's where one part of the fire will come out, but eventually we want the fires to come out from the sides. Let's hammer the nails all around the edges, and make sure these are fully punctured through, or else the fire won't come out, and that would be a total fail. Awesome! This is a pretty good looking campfire. Alright, pretty simple, right? Now we need to attach both pieces together. So we need to crimp the container that holds the rubbing alcohol with pliers. You do this so that you can fit the top portion over this. By the way, don't crimp this too hard or else it's going to block the airflow and the fires won't come out of the holes. Okay, now let's see if this fits. Perfect! Now we need fiberglass pipe wrap. 
so this will prevent the fire from going out of control. Place the wrap in the container where the running alcohol will be stored. Now let's put the lid on top. Okay, now I know it seems like it's sealed, but it's really not. Use a popsicle stick to seal the edges. Perfect! Now let's fill this up with rubbing alcohol. Let the rubbing alcohol soak in. Do that a few times. Perfect! Okay, we are finally outside! Let's test these out! We'll start with the campfire. You will need a penny. Make sure it's under 1982. Fun fact, after 1982, the US started using zinc instead of copper, and that won't work here. So we're going to light the middle first, get the fire going, and then block the center with a penny. The flame should start coming out from the sides. And now we can heat up some coals for our grill. That might take a while, so let's fast forward. Oh yeah! We're doing a little backyard barbecue. This thing might be small, but it packs a punch. The coals are nice and hot. Let's attach the grill. We have a hot link right here. Wish I could add more, but this grill can only fit one. Now let's close the lid. That's the sound of a perfect hot link. That sounds really good. Now let's flip this around. Wow, that part was grilled to perfection. Look at those marks. Woo, this is pretty awesome. Wow, check this out. I think this grilled it better than an actual grill. And I'm about to eat this very soon. And just to get the mood right, here's a late night campfire with a late night snack. What did you think? Write in the comments. Awesome or pop fans. Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!